Hello VC, <clears throat> and especially, let's see here, DMBB1239, uh, I'm doing your thread man, uh, you, you put this out a week ago and I saw uh, Miss Hall of Fame's version, just sparked my interest really and, and uh, I subscribed to you today, <clears throat> um, I had no idea about you but I watched your videos or some of them and, and uh, we don't have at all the same... Uh, uh, the same interest in music, or some of it, I, I'll bet. But but you know, you're a, a metal guy, uh, and I'm I'm not. But I have some metal. Uh, but anyway, I love the way you talk about music and your passion about it. And and I watched some of your videos, like maybe two or three uh, of them, and uh, I really like them. So uh, and this sparked my interest. I started to to think when I uh, went to work today, when I saw the video. Uh, and I don't think that anyone had done this that I'm gonna do uh, and, and this is as much for you uh, and for anyone else interested in, in uh, my channel uh, and of this particular theme uh, for my sake too because this was really a question that I asked myself that was gonna be hard really really hard to do a top 10 of so so yeah uh, the, the, you know the competition is uh, or the thread is uh, do a uh, 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 top 10 video of whatever you want to do uh, about, uh, do it about um, Mr. Hall of Fame did uh, band logos and that was great and I've only see seen him but I was thinking of doing my top 10 Swedish music okay so you know uh, I don't have everything in Swedish music, there's so much, so much stuff that I'm missing and I, that I want, uh, especially in the prog section. And I've been researching Swedish prog now uh, uh, a month back, maybe, uh, and getting some of it, but it's so expensive, and and uh, I lack so much of it and stuff that I haven't listened to. So I picked 13. And so the three first ones is just honorable mentions, and I'm playing the one in the background. This is Pug with Pogish. So this is a little, uh, you know, hats off to Mr. Uh, Big Star 1000 for his latest uh, video. Uh, this is an awesome record, but it didn't make the the top ten just because I think the first one, Yoda Ada. Uh, that record is better, and I don't have that in my collection, so I couldn't take Pugish with me on this, his second album. The next one is, and I've shown this not too long ago, this is uh, Goodall Goodall, uh, as, as I've heard it pronounced, <laughs> uh, by Joey Vadenius and Barbara Lindgren, you have to, to say. So this is a child's record, but it's everyone uh, from uh, uh, Made of Sweden on it. So the band made of Sweden doing Child's lyrics really, uh, and this is a, a funky proggy pop masterpiece of a fucking record. It's so good. Uh, I'm gonna buy every single clean copy if that's out there for a good, uh, good uh, buck, just to replace and getting a better copy. This is a this is a good good top copy, but uh, you always want better, right? Uh, and you know, sending to people in the VC. Uh, everyone with interest of Swedish prog music must have that. And last one uh, in the honorable mentions, I think, is is November 2nd. Uh, my favorite of theirs, uh, produced by Joiva Denius, the guy on Godot Godot uh, and Made of Sweden. Uh, and this is the reissue numbered, limited to a thousand records, and I, I don't know really, uh, maybe you Swedes know, but uh, is they, are they sold out uh, by now? Um, I talked to a guy in Stockholm, he said that they were going to sell out pretty quickly. Okay, so four minutes, I just have ten minutes to go. So, top ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. Uh, on tenth place. You don't, uh, I've shown this a million times, uh, and for all you new subscribers, this is one of the best Swedish records ever recorded in 1989. Uh, this is Jakob Hellman with And the Great Ocean. Uh, just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 songs maybe. Uh, very easy listening, but, but complex at the same time. With uh, yeah, epic hits and a history behind this. His only record. Uh, he got ment like mentally ill after this, uh, and he went to Holland, I think, and uh, stopped making music. And it's just one of the greatest albums ever recorded. Ninth place, Kevin Kaiser, their second one. 
self-titled, but their second one. And this has the awesome guitar player, let's see here, Håke, Kenny Håkansson. He's done a lot of stuff with, uh, with Swedish guys. Uh, so Kevin Kajsa on ninth place. Uh, you know, I had to, to pull out this and, and show this on seventh place, I think. This is Janne Schaffer, his first solo LP. Um, and, uh, you know, especially Jordbrook's Machine and my favorite song on, the, on this one. It's just a monster of a jazz fusion um, song. And as you can see in the background, I took, I took three records down and they're in here. Uh, so if you see my videos and you did your research, you know uh, what they are, but not on which place. And here's the first one, Jungle Jam by Egba. This is a, a fusion album with uh, Latin American like uh, rhythms, maybe, but don't be afraid of that. This is just a fist in your teeth uh, when you play this. It's so bad. It's so good. Uh, Jaron Lagerbad, I think he played with Made in... No, Targets. He played it with Targets, I think, and Ori Oki Eriksson. Later uh, continued on drums with Voss Express and, and stuff like that, continuing on. Um, so yeah, this is an epic album. I don't know which place I'm in. Six, fifth, fourth, third, second one, yeah. Six, I think. My sixth choice is Made in Sweden, Made in England. This is also a very very good album, and I got this for a, you know, a steal uh, of price. I, pay, I think I paid like five bucks for this or something like that on the famous Sonnet uh, record label. And and this this my my copy is in really really good condition compared to a lot of the other stuff that's out there. And I'm so proud and happy that I have this and and made of Sweden with Joy Vandelius. And later with a very cheesy song, uh, a guy on, on, on a song called uh, Tommy Sherberg, but that, I think that was after Joye left the band. Uh, but that was also good, you know, it's a very, very good band. But made in Sweden, made, made in England. And one of the ones standing in the background was uh, Samla Mamas Mana. And I just have Malti by Samla Mamas Mana. Uh, I've heard, uh, I think I've heard all their stuff. This is one of my favorites. Uh, it's a really, really good prog record from Sweden. This is the perfect example of prog from Sweden, really, uh, with the very Scandinavian uh, sound, very, a very Scandinavian sounding sound. Um, and terrific, uh, terrific musicians all the way through. And, and on, on the famous Silence record label, you know, and, and I wish I had every record that Silence put out. Um, Silence was, I, I think, maybe in my opinion, the most interesting record label uh, ever produced or put out records in Sweden. But, but yeah, on such a short period of time, at least, when they had their prime in the late or early 70s, uh, one, two, three, four. Fourth place. <clears throat> I showed this just in my recent video live. Jumped in at fourth place of my all time Swedish, in my collection, my, my Swedish records. I've listened to this a number of times now. This is how you hold it. Um, one, one. Look at the lady. And I still need to listen to it more, but it grows on me every time. And it was a 10 first listen it was so good and it just blew me away and I, I, I spin, spun it for a friend at his place and he was just how could I miss this back in the day because he's from the like yeah he's born like 1959 or something like that so he had his like uh, buying record time in the 70s and he hadn't even heard of him them uh, or or um, uh, uh, heard of them or heard them even back in the day, <clears throat> and when I played this, he was also blown away. This is a record that just, oh, it's so good, it's so damn good. Psychedelic pop, uh, prog, and not so much Scandinavian sounding maybe, trying to do something else, maybe English, like Targets and Chains and stuff like that, but m 
almost more interesting than at least Shane's and those guys. Uh, I, I don't have anything by Tages. Check out Tages. Uh, T-A-G-G-E-S. They were a 60s group in Sweden and they just rocked the socks of everyone. Really good pop group. Third place. Fleskit Brinner. The, the, the pork is burning. This, this group is just everything that I like about Swedish music and I can't understand why, how these guys made such great, great music. Uh, Gånglåten, the, the first song on, on the record, a live, uh, live recording. It's just magical how it builds and builds and builds and builds. And it's not, un, you know, it's, it's interesting from the first tune, really. And this is the, the, the one record I've paid most for. Uh, I, I paid like 400 crowns, like 450, 60 bucks for this, but it was worth every penny. Ask, ask Anders, I stood maybe like a half an hour just wondering if I should buy it, but it was worth every penny, Anders. <laughs> Thank you for, for convincing me. Second place, and this is no, this is no surprise to anyone, uh, Sagan und Ringen, Lord of the Rings, I think it's called Lord of the Rings. Uh, a musical journey, no, um, a musical Interpretation by Bo Hansen on the Silence record, and I have a, a beat up uh, cover of this, but the, the record is in really, really good condition, and and I paid 50 cents for this, and I'm so happy I have it. But it's not my favorite of all my Swedish records. Anders, you know what's coming now. The first place of every Swedish record I own, uh, and I had to to think hard about this by the, the three records there uh, that I have on my top list, but this is, I had so high expectations when I spun this the first time, and I, I wanted it for so long, and I reissued it, and I bought it, and it, it's just such a good, good record, I can't believe it's only two, two men playing on this one. It's Monument by Hansson and Carlson. This is you know, I, I, I believe everyone that has the music interest that I have, uh, you know, with Prague and, and jazz, fusion and jazz and stuff like that, and likes Bo Hansen's Lord of the Rings, you know, uh, is the one there. Um, you know, in Sweden, can't ignore this, you know, they can't say that this is not a top 10 record or, or at least top 20 record, you know, I mean, it's just so good. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say really. You have to check it out. If you haven't heard this, you know, you have to check it out. And I think that this is maybe on my, you know, top 25 or top, at least top 30 uh, records of all time uh, that I've ever heard. You know, it, it may it maybe not be perfect, but it's like okay. I'm 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 having problem problems putting words to what I feel uh, about this record, but. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a masterpiece of, of a record, and this is, um, this is not a 10, this is an 11, or whatever you want to, to call it, yeah. Uh, and I'm still looking for an original, but I don't, I'm not in a hurry. Uh, I'll find one in good condition when I find one, and, w and when I have the money, I'll buy it, just to have the original. Um, but the reissue sounds just incredible. Just incredible. So yeah, there you have it, my top 10 Swedish records in my collection. I may have missed something. Uh, there were a lot of stuff that I, I didn't include, and but especially, I lack so many records that I could could put in my top ten that I don't have. Um, so maybe I'll do another one in a year or two. We'll see. Thank you so much for this thread. It was epic. Bye.